Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What up, Big Kirk 916, getting down with Fresh Out and another Prison Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the channel, represent, and go pick you up some merch at freshoutseries.com and wash that ass. Man, I'm always telling you guys, there are demons out there and some people are pure evil. And I've ran across people like this in prison that you could feel their energy. It's just very dark, very demonic. And this individual here, Willie McFarland was just found guilty and sentenced to 120 years for the murder of Fred Harris, 59, and Greg Harris, 23. And this happened back in 1987. Now, they didn't have the technology back then to prove that he had murdered these individuals, but um, they never stopped as far as searching for clues, DNA, and they were finally able to convict this man. He will serve 60 years consecutively, which means when he does 160, he'll have to do another 60. This guy, the father and son, he tied him up, slashed their throats in Hamden, Connecticut. Way back in 87, man. Horrible, horrible. And then Greg Harris, the son, he actually freed himself, but McFarland caught him and tied him up again and sexually assaulted him. What type of human being is this, man? When you talk about why they have prisons and why people have the right to bear arms, to protect their families, it's because of people like this. This is horrific, disgusting. And I'm, 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 I'm glad the family finally got some justice in this situation. They said they continue to look for, for evidence and physical evidence linking them to the crime and conducted DNA testing in 2006 and again in 2018. They finally arrested him in 2019. After 35 years, the man responsible for the murder of a father and son in their own home has been brought to justice. There's no statute of limitation of murder. These people who think they're getting away with something, these guys thinking they're riding down on their ops and they, they're, they're taking glory and taking another person's life, man, you might not get caught right then, but it could be a matter of time. You could be a grandpa and they come arrest you. This guy, man, I mean, tied these people up, slit their throats, and then turn around and rape the son. That's why I'm always advocating for you guys to, to do the right thing, stay out of prison. I don't want to see you have to put yourself around people like this to try to survive. You don't want to have a guy like this as your bunkie. You don't want to have to sit at a table with a person like this and eat your food. Be in the same unit as a person like this, living. And there are many people like this in these places, dark, low frequency demons who have committed acts so horrific that you couldn't imagine. And yet you see these guys and they'll talk to you and you know, try to make small talk and uh, you don't know that this person's a demon.
hey, watch yourself out there and always be conscious of those you have close to you in your circle, man. It's a dangerous, dangerous world and we have to protect ourselves and you can't take for granted that there will be somebody in law enforcement to protect you. Protect your family, man. Protect your home. Big Hurt 916. What are you doing? Man, I need to go wash that ass. Some of you guys who walk around the gym, funky. You guys need to go wash your ass. Go to FreshOutSeries.com and pick up a bar of soap, man. You can't be walking around the gym funky. Make sure you go wash them nuts. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Hurt said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com.